So hey guys, uh, I'm from ACM chapter ITISM. I'll be discussing problem D from Code Forces Global Round 9. In this problem, we are given an array of n integers with all the integers between 0 to n. Now, what we have to do is that you can choose one element and replace it by the mx of all the elements of the array. The the about the mx they have given here it is the smallest non-negative integer that does not belong to the array right okay now what we have to do is that we have to make this array non-decreasing using at most two n operations okay you don't have to minimize the number of operations but the maximum should be two n okay it can't exceed them right so one more important thing is that mx of the array of length n is always between 0 to n you can pause the video and think for it for some seconds right uh, now let's look at the constraints since the length of the array is within 1000 so we can have a o of n square solution okay now let's look for the uh, most dangerous case in this case which i would say uh, decreasing array okay this is my given one uh, given one and what i have to do is change uh, final i have to make it to 0 1 and 2 right okay so what i'll be doing is that in the first case mex is if i if the, for the first case mex of the given array is equal to 3 right okay now i want uh, this 2 to be replaced by 0 right but before replacing it to with zero i want the zero to be replaced by something else right so i'll replace it zero by three which is the mex right now? now for this one for this uh, given array my mex will become zero my mx will turn to zero right so i'll replace this position with zero which will be the mx at that point right now for one more time i'll do is one more time i'll do that so mx in this case is 2 so i'll simply say that a of 2 is equal to 2 okay i don't have to do anything else i'll just say that the element is the second position but i'm sorry in uh, third position or a of 2 is equal to 2 right okay now doing again See, we have already reached it, but uh, since we have to do it for n times at most, so doing again, what we'll get is mx is equal to 3. Now, uh, it will find that uh, it will find the index of the element uh, which does not match. So, it won't get one. Let's look at the implementation of the, this one. What is happening is that we are just inputting an uh, array and storing the final answer in the vector right so for the first time i'll calculate the mex i'll show the mex function so this is the mex function right okay now i'll first calculate the mex so if mex was equal to sorry if mex was equal to n which is the maximum okay so what i can do is that like in this case when it was originally 2 1 3 and so on my mx was equal to 3 then what i can do is that i can find the index of non-matching numbers the first index of non-matching number which was 0 right the index of 2 is 0 now okay so then i'll find the occurrence of this index in the given array this is occurring at this point so i'll replace it with mx okay see I have replaced this position with mex okay and push it back into the answer now i have made i have made mex is equal to my original index sorry this one okay like here so what will happen is then what i'll do is that i'll make a of m is equal to m huh. so basically i'm making a of 0 is equal to 0 right and again pushing it back into the answer why because like see for this given array my mx was zero okay good now uh, running the loop once again what we have is my mx value is equal to two so this case this condition is not satisfied what it will simply do is change a of two to two right okay
okay so it has changed f2 to 2 okay now it will run once again what will happen in this case my mx value will be 3 and m value will be equal to n right so it will try to find out the index of non matching numbers now you see uh, that uh, it is something i have returned a zero here right if we if it doesn't find anything so it will go to the zeroth index okay and it will find of it will find the occurrence of zero in the given array which is at the zeroth position right so it will make it equal to mex right so what it will do is it will just change this to 3 okay but again it will change the mex value to the in original index right to 0 so and at this point again it is changing this 3 to 0 right so we have uh, run this for n times now so it will come out now what will happen is that uh, see uh, after this operation actually it was not needed but uh, due to the algorithm part i have to write it but what will happen is that your final array won't change okay just your size of the final answer will increase by two now uh, sorry uh, you can see here that since they have given that it, we can have at most two one operations and there is no limit for that sorry we don't have to minimize them so i can clearly say that for each time for each n times if i add two operations each operations then this will make up to 2 into n operations so it is valid uh, in with the given constraints right okay so mm, now let's check the solution with the sample test case okay so you're getting something and uh, i'll be some i'll be sharing my submitted code with you so hope you liked it and if you liked it then subscribe to our channel for more such videos and share it with your friends uh, thank you